Hello folks and welcome to the channel. Okay, I got a little video I'm going to show you today. I had mentioned during my Like It Never Happened video for my pre-war sanctuary mod that I do passive power, underground passive power for the interior of my houses and to power the, the street lights that I put in with the mod. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sh show you how to do that. But before we do that, Let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like the following video, smash that like button. And then share it on your social media because this might help uh, other people. And that really would be really cool. So if you got any questions or comments on how I did something and you didn't understand it from what I, what I say in the video, go ahead and leave them down below the video and I'll get back to you because I... I read all of my comments. Unlike a lot of YouTubers, I read all of my comments and I usually respond. And if I can help, I will. Subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell for more live streams and videos. Even though YouTube doesn't actually like to share my content with my subscribers, you can follow me on my social media. All the links are in the description. You can get notifications that way. Those are the free and easy things that you can do to help support the channel. If you wish to support the channel directly, click the join button or the super thanks button underneath the video. Otherwise, look in the description and you can throw some beer money in my tip jar on Ko-Fi. All right, guys, let's get into this. All right, guys, so you're going to need a couple of mods to be able to make this work. Now, the first mod that I use is Workshop Framework and Workshop Plus. So, that, that lets me do the free, fro, free, free fly cam. Let's me be able to walk around in my settlement. And Workshop Framework actually... Oh boy, I didn't know that. Workshop Framework actually uh, lets you increase your uh, settlement size too. Now, with my clean, uh, clean Sanctuary mod, I put this in here and I said this is my powerhouse. So, I have, this is where I put my generators. Now, if you're just using just regular, regular generators, You know, you do that, you can do that. But I have my MCS mod to build nuclear generators. So, and with uh, with uh, Place Every Anywhere and Workshop Plus, I can go ahead and I can shrink these down. So, I actually want to shrink it down to like that. And... I want to make sure that my surface snap is on. So that I can turn it around. So that I gotta, I can make it look right. Okay. So I'm gonna put this generator in right here. So you need, uh, if you want to use this big old 500 watt generator, uh, you gotta have mighty. You gotta have the MCS Workshop, which is available on Shaken Mods. Now another mod that. If you want to have your uh, lights actually work only at night, get Sabrina's workshop, and she's got a got a switch in here. A time switch, and it only powers during the night time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one of these in there, and I'm going to shrink that. Two because I'm gonna put that kind of right, kind of right there. All right. So 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hook that to that. And then with MCS Workshop, I also made it so that my connectors radiate power. I can make connectors that radiate power. Just a regular power conduit radiates powers. And then there's one that's no radiate. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick one of these in here. I'm going to stick two of these in here, actually. And I'm going to shrink these. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to connect those together. And I'm going to connect that to that. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go outside with it. So that's there. Now I'm going to use the same thing, except I'm going to use the ground one. And I don't actually need to shrink this one down because this one, if I push F2, I'll be able to sink it right into the ground. Uh oh. I messed up there someplace. Too many of them. I only need just the one. Sorry about that. Stuttering fingers. Go with my stuttering, stuttering ass. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one of these down. And then I'm going to put one of these down here. And I'm going to hook that one to that one. That one to that one. Now I'm going to take it, I'm going to drag, I'm going to go over here, over into the middle of the road. And I'm going to drop this here. And then I'm going to put one 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 here. Because I want to connect that one to that one. I want to connect that one to that one and I want to connect all these so that they all are connected because I use when I use transfer settlements it works a lot better okay now this one I'm gonna take and I'm gonna stick right here in this house and then over here I'm going to take this one and I'm going to just kind of toss it in there. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to move this all the way up here. And then I'm going to put another one here and one here, one here. And I want to take and do the same thing. Make sure these are all connected. Now, I don't actually need power in this house because, well, it already has lights in it because I pricked it out. But you may want to. Can't see through that window, so that's okay. And then this one, I'm going to go down here to here. And same thing. Pretty much the same deal here. Oh. And... this and we'll go and here and I'm gonna put this one right here now I need one for that house one for that house 
I already got one run into that house, so that's good. And then this will this will be the one that goes that way. So same thing. That and we'll this one in here. I've got that stutter. Okay. There we go. But that's okay. And then this one, I'm going to go here. Same, same process. Like this. And then go right over here. And this one out. To here. Now I have Street lights down there. So what I want to do is, is I want to connect that one to that, and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put one right there, and then put another one in, and then I'm gonna put one here. But then I'm gonna put two because one, two. Because I want to connect this to this, this to this, and then that to that. Because I need one for my my pool here. And we're just going to stick it right there because I can just shove it down underneath the ground that way. And then we're going to take and put this one here uh, because it's, this is going to this is going to be fun. So now I'm going to take that one and I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and take this all the way up so that I got to let this there. So that I can connect those. And then this will be right here. One there. One there and one there. So connect that. That to that, that to that. And then we'll do that. And this that'll be for that house. This one will be for this house. And this one. I'm just bring this over here and I'm going to add one more in here and then one more in here. And then we'll put those in there. That one goes in there. And then we're going to put one over here. I'm going to take this actually all the way up. Oops. Messed up. Okay. So we're going to 
Put that right there, connect that one to that. And then we need one more here that we're gonna hook to this one and back to this one just to stick this one right here. Because this one that we just put in is gonna go out. Now if you wanna if you wanna take and like if I wanna take and put passive power in out there, that's I would do the same thing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my generator room and I'm gonna push F2 with workshop framework workshop plus and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna stick this right in the ground it doesn't have to be way deep just gotta be below ground and now same thing that And let's go ahead and put that like that. Now, I'm going to have to, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go, go around. To make this quicker, I'm going to go around and open all of my doors. Because that's the way you got to open all your doors. Because that way, when you're in workshop mode, um... You really don't have to worry about it too. And once you open your doors, you can go back and do you can start at the end. Like that door is open. Now open this door. that one's open. Okay. So I, I can just go ahead and start from this house and work my way back around. And you can see I got the 500 power here, so. Usually I put it a little bit deeper underground, that way we don't have no wires sticking up. Because it's... With MCS, it's got it's got pretty good uh, radiation. It's got like 500. Got more. It's got more than what it would normally have. It's thousand something. That. Right, I do do the one in my pool. Now this one I need to put deep because that way it's not sticking in the out of the water. And we'll come right up here. Open the doors on these houses to make it easier. Now we just go ahead and finish up all of our placement like this and that one that one
that. Did I get this one? Yes, I did. Want to make sure I got. Now this one I'm going to take and just kind of stick right there. Like I said, they don't have to be real deep. They just have to be underground. I would go a little deeper just just because of terrain, but because I'm not a real fan. I'm not a real fan of all the power lines hanging around the settlement. Have to. This is this is the way I like to do it. So that we ain't got power lines hanging all over because that looks kind of trashy. And especially with this, my clean sanctuary mod, trashy was not in the, was not in the prescription for the mod for sure, dude. It was kind of... This mod was, this mod for my sanctuary was kind of the opposite of trashy. Right? And, um, that one here. And then there's one in this house. Almost done. Then I can show you how this works. And that's all done. So now... What we're gonna do is, is it is three, it is 3 p.m. So the lights usually come on when it gets dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep for six hours. Yeah, okay. And that, come out here. These lights are always on. But you can see the TV come on. That's because there's passive power. And there's... There's all the lights. All the lights. Street lights are working. As intended. All the way out here. And there's lots of light down here along the along this thing. And then if I go up into my pool area, take a shortcut across my. All my street lights are working on my pool. So yeah, so that worked out really well. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. If you got any, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you got any questions or comments, just leave them below the video. I'll get back to you. Um, when you subscribe to the channel, uh, because YouTube doesn't actually like to share my content with my subscribers, you can go ahead and follow me on my social media. 
Uh, links are all in the description. Those are the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, click the join button or the super thanks button underneath the video. Otherwise, you could throw some beer money, my tip jar, on Ko-Fi. All right, guys. One, once again, thanks for watching. And remember, until next time, keep your powder dry, shoe straight, rookie. And remember, war never changes.